hi guys thank you for joining me today once again on this wonderful channel guys number one if you've noted if you're really really keen about the channel that i have we have changed the names or rather i have changed the name and the name is eric on the winning side so i'm not the only one who is winning we are winning together secondly um i also want to comment and say thank you thank you so much because of the guys who have actually subscribed to my channel and um you know what the last time we were talking um i had five subscribers but now i have 37 as of this recording i have 37 subscribers guys i'm so so much happy so the love you've shown me it's much appreciated the love you've shown me it's very very much appreciated so guys we discuss the topic of today but before we discuss the topic of today just know i'm in the awesome place the famous place if you know you can see the word behind me and the hub in current so um i'll be here for a couple of minutes as i'm recording this video but i'll be heading in my car so that we can discuss this further thank you and welcome to my channel thank you guys the topic of today i'm really really excited to talk about this thing it's one of the things that actually i think in the 21st century is really affecting a lot of people and it is causing um a lot of drama in the first place on a personal point of view and also it's affecting the people around us if you don't see yourself in the positive side of what i'm talking about okay so today what am i talking about self-worth how much do you value yourself or even do you love yourself are you that kind of a guy who says oh i've been working for the whole month i've been working for six months without rest without even a holiday without a vacation you know and you decide i'm going to treat myself leave alone your family members leave alone anybody else just to appreciate yourself Okay, because of how much you value yourself. You're the one working at the end of the day. The others who are around you are dependent. People who are just depending on you. Could be your friends, could be your family members, could be any other person. But how much, my question is today, how much do you value yourself? Or how much do you actually love yourself? Okay, so today, um, according to what is happening, uh, on the social media you'll find out that there are a lot of people you know what is happening with our celebrities eh? <laughs> um, I'm not fighting against any 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 person but um, the kind of influence that is coming from the social media platform to the common person actually Hana kind any kind of influence you know you might feel that why am I not reaching there why am I not up here I'm I feel like I'm down here, you know, um, and you feel like you're in, you are actually less of that kind of celebrity that you love so much or that kind of a model that you love so much. But here today, I'm telling you, it's not about them. It's about you to them. It's about your own race, you know, your own path that you're walking with. They have their own path. But you have your own path, okay? So, if you come to understand that you have your own path, then you'll get to know that you're important to other people. There are actually people who are looking up on you. There are people who, if you don't show up for a meeting, 
they don't get inspired. If they don't see your face today, if you are called for a meeting, it could be at your workplace, and they don't see your face, there are people who are actually affected. They wonder, where is Eric today? Where is so and so today? Okay? They will keep on wondering, where are you? Because you are their face of inspiration or even motivation. Okay? So, I would like you to feel that you are loved, you are better looking, you are actually the best person there could be ever in the world and you are so unique. My second point is, um, you find that a lot of people are fighting uh, with weight issues. I really, yeah, weight is an issue or even the way you look at yourself. Let me go with looks. That should be my second point. It's about the look. Then the look brings me to weight. Huh? Uh, there are people who can work out today and you look at them three months down the line they have totally changed. They have achieved their body goals. But there are people who are genetically, the way they were born, they are like meant to remain that way. I don't know the best thing to advise this way. But even before you go for that gym, even before you start lifting the dumbbell, even before you go for your first push-up, even before you go for your first race, you know, like running in the morning, the best thing to do is to love yourself the way you are. Because the moment you love yourself the way you are, the moment you experience the change, you will appreciate it even more. Okay? You will appreciate it even more. So, let me tell you one thing today. It's not about the looks. It's not about the looks that gets people up here. You know? It's not about what you have or what you don't have. Hmm? At the end of the day, we are looking at you as a person. Okay? As a person. How do, you, how do you present yourself to us? You know, there are people who... There is a person who said, self-worth is so vital that if you fail to see the good in you, it's so hard to see the good in other things. So one thing we need to remember is that um, you need to see. Number one, you need to see what is good in you yeah number one you have to see what is good in you because if you can't see the good in you the better in you the the perfections that are in you you cannot be able to see anything that is good around you so number one this is what i'm saying that be a person of positive mind engage yourself with positivity i found myself and um it really helps me a lot. In the morning when I wake up, I try to find, uh, I try to adjust, uh, I mean, I try to listen to what is positive. I try to, to watch what is positive. Like for example, I may listen to inspirational podcast. I may listen to, you know, it may be a preaching that is actually speaking to my day. Even before I start listening, you know, I speak to my day, okay? I start seeing the good that will be there for my day even before I step in for the day. Even before I prepare myself, you know, like going for work or doing anything else. I start preparing myself for that particular day by speaking what is positive. Uh, the other thing I'm going to say that remember, stick around with people who are positive minded. If you're sticking around with people who are actually ever, the best that they can tell you is how low you are or how, or how belittle they can belittle you. Yeah? Or they keep on discouraging you or they speak against the things that obviously will discourage you. These are the people who are going to pull you down. There is no day you're ever going to improve from where you are to the next level that you actually want yourself to be the other thing uh, that I want you to uh, that I want to tell you same about friends you know sticking about the, the uh, sticking around the good people is about when you are invited for a meeting you are invited for a dinner be a person who is actually purpose driven it's not a must you visit every party you go it's not a must let me tell you it's not a must I'm one person that I'm, I may fail you 
I may fail to attend a party if I don't see the need for me to attend it. I usually ask myself one question, what do I gain? I'm not trying to, de uh, to, uh, to stop associating myself from the people that actually care a lot, of, uh, a lot about me, but I actually ask myself, what am I actually gaining? You know, there's that point of you can go out, you can party, you can have some fun, but there's another, there's another side of the story. What are you going to achieve? You know, when you go for that party and you know very well that you're not an alcoholic and you end yourself, uh, you end up taking alcohol. You know, I'm not saying alcohol is bad. <laughs> Get me right. But if it is affecting your standards, if it is lower, lowering your self-esteem, don't attend. Just leave it as so. It is. My last point is about what do other people say about you? You know, there are people who really care so much what people say about them rather than what actually them they know about themselves. Um, I'm one person also. I've realized uh, and I've, it's something that I've worked myself throughout uh, the life that I've lived that if you want to live at peace, stop caring what people say about you you know first of all they are gossipers there are people who are gossipers you know um if you are a person who lives around plot 10 <laughs> you know those people who live very close to each other there are people who are actually very affected the way and the question is who first brought you that story that's my first question because the person who brought you that story was among the committee of the people who are actually talking about you. So I want to encourage you today that don't care about what people say about you. Care about what you think about yourself because the moment you carry yourself with high esteem, then even other people will carry you with the same standard. Yes, because they can actually see the light in you. They can see the the they can see how you carry yourself so they will carry you with the same same standard but if you sit with these people and you discuss other people the same way the the those those people will sit down and discuss you when you're not there so the best thing to avoid all this scenario is to avoid gossipers yeah avoid gossipers all right okay the best way to avoid gossipers is you to start with you <laughs> how do you start with you avoid gossiping if today i as eric bring you a story of another person the best way you can stop this is to stop the discussion in the first place if i have a problem with somebody and i've come to tell you then it's better to encourage me to go and discuss that problem with that particular person we are discussing, we are about to discuss right here. So the best thing, leave the gossip aside. Leave what people talk about, uh, about you behind your back. Stop caring. Watch out now, they will not take you anywhere. Their gossip doesn't raise you to the next uh, level or it doesn't add any value stop caring it does not add any value to you as a person it does not add any value so today i'm encouraging everyone of you who is listening to me there's a very big journey i know there's a very big journey towards self-worth and self-loving because there are people who are actually fighting uh with low self-esteem and the best way to start um, having high self-esteem, you know, starting to value yourself uh, in the best way is to first start loving yourself. Love yourself. Love yourself the way you are, with what you have, with what you don't have. Love yourself. Stop caring what people are saying and start caring about what you think about yourself. I should start caring about me. Me as Eric, do I love myself? Do I take care of myself? Can I take myself out for a coffee? And I say, I've been working. 
for the whole month I've been working, for the whole week I've been so busy. What best can I do for myself? You can go buy yourself a new t-shirt, buy yourself a new that, that new dress code, uh, that new dress that you want, you've always wanted. Buy it. If it's not buying, go treat yourself. You know, relax. Just be at home, watch a movie. You've been so busy. Appreciate yourself. Love yourself the way you are. Don't put yourself down. And guys, one of the things I'm really encouraging all of us, tuache kuskiza kile watu wanasema kutuhusu. Uko inje. Leave it. Leave it. And you'll have a peaceable life. Utakuwa na life because so full of peace that, you know, we usually say, you, you know, we pray for peace. But some of the problems we have in our lives is because we are creating them. We are so concerned. Nani alisema kuniusu? Let me tell you, that really discourages you. It pulls you down. It makes your self-esteem to go low. And one of the things I'm encouraging today, live what people say about you and start loving yourself the way you are. Okay? So guys, that has been my topic today. And guys, remember to subscribe to my channel. Guys, as I started this video, we started with five subscribers and you, you guys have shown a lot of love. This channel must go to the next level. This, I don't have any limit to set to you guys, but if this inspires you, guys, can you share this video? Let your friends, family members, or subscribe. What? Kwanzee mdogo. If you're <laughs> last born when you're on a simu, end a yake, subscribe. Okay, go to your second born. Mwambie, subscribe. Any person, tell them to subscribe to this channel. The last time we talked, I had only five subscribers. Guys, as we speaking, I'm above 37 subscribers. As of this recording of this video, I think, yeah, uh, it might be changing any moment. I'm so in love with you guys i'm so much inspired by you guys sit our fail content nilazima every week guys i've not decided about when to be releasing my videos but i'll be releasing my videos for now on mondays can you wait on mondays every monday i'll be having a video out but i'm thinking to be doing these videos much earlier so for the guys who will be seeing me premiering on please kindly uh, follow up, comment, you know, share this video, all right? And remember, most importantly, to subscribe to this channel. So, see ya. Much love, guys. Bye-bye.